how would a spanking take place? Um, I, uh, when, by the time I was at Hefsipa House, when they punished us, they isolated us. So uh -huh. I cannot confirm. I personally was never spanked, but I cannot confirm my sisters because they isolated us completely when we were being punished. Okay. And in my case, it was similar to Susan, not as frequently when Lucinda and I were there as when Susan was there, but um, up into the office, lay down flat on the floor. Yes. A heavy chair placed over your head. Staff members holding your arms out to the side, sometimes a staff member holding your legs down, and then the paddling with a board, the rod of God, as it was called. When so you're laid face down? Yes. Face, face down. Yes. And somebody holds your, your arms and legs? And a big heavy chair placed over your head so you can't jump up. It's not it wasn't done to protect them from us jumping up to hurt them. It was just done as more of a, we're gonna show you even now how much power we have over Domination. you. Domination. It's gonna just humiliate you and put you in the most submissive position that you could be yep. with multiple staff members around and a person hitting you. Mm -hmm. So when, Well, they explained to me when I had my spanking, we're gonna hold your hand so you don't put your hand behind and get swatted, you know, when, when the paddle comes down, you don't get your hand. Um, hit by the paddle, so we're going to hold your hands, we're going to hold your feet so you don't move. It. They couldn't just and, tell you to keep your uh, hands up? The chair was put over my back, and I took my three squats. I got three squats. I <laughs> only received three spankings the whole time I was there. The first time I had to lay down, the other two times all I had to do was bend over. And my squats were literally just three <clears throat> times each time. Okay. Could I interject something, please? please? I'm sorry. You just can't see that laying a girl down, even if it happened to you one time, you can't see that laying a teenage girl and a huge man like Ron Williams or any other staff member spanking you, laying you on the ground with chairs over your head and holding, you can't see that as being wrong. That's I watched that as a child. That is scary. <clears throat> okay. So, you confirm this. Dr. Bill, I watched it. Um, oftentimes the door would be left open to the, uh, um, the office, that, the room, the spanking room. And uh, the same room that you were spanked in was also the same room that a lot of counseling occurred. So that room became a very fearful room, frankly. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I witnessed as a child multiple times the girls being laid out, held down, the chair put over their leg. Oftentimes the chair was put over their leg and their chest. Then they were prayed over and then the spankings were mm -hmm. seven to ten swats. I never heard anything less than seven. Oh. But that could have happened. I'm saying I never heard anything less than seven. Okay, but everybody is confirming that they're in a prone position, yes. legs yes. and arms held, a yes. chair placed over them to, to no pin chairs. them down further. Now down. That's how the girls were spanked, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, that's just not okay. Thanks. I mean, you no. can, if... if and, and I understand that some of these girls are rebellious and run away yeah. and have issues, but if as a professional, you're endorsing that as appropriate behavior in disciplining someone, I have real problems with your judgment. <laughs> you're, you're telling me that's okay with you? The reason they did that, Dr. Phil, was to protect the girls from getting hurt. You're telling me that's simply, okay with you? It is okay with me. Okay. and. And, and your, your training is in what? Psychology. And I have two master's degrees. You have two master's degrees, and, and you work with disadvantaged children? I work with uh, foster children, and I work with uh, fighting against CPS. Okay, so if, if you went into a foster home and, and you saw that foster parents had a foster child and they pinned them to the floor, held their arms and legs and put a chair over them and, and beat them with a board three times, five times, seven times, yeah. you would check that off as, okay. Well, Dr. Phil, when they... Kind of yes or no. My thing is they did it to protect the girls from getting hurt. I don't, I don't to this day believe in spankings. I believe in natural consequences, but I'm saying when I was there, that's how they did it. But the reason they did it 
that way was for protection of the girls not getting hurt. Well, now you don't know why they did it. You you just speculate uh, that, as no, to why they, they did it. No, that's what they told me. Well, that's what I mean. They well, said we're going to hold your okay, hands. Okay, come so you on. Don't You're your... telling me you have two master's degrees in psychology, and because someone tells you that's why they're doing it, then you just assume that's why they're doing it.